this is America. How many of you people want to pay for your neighbor's mortgage? We're thinking of having a Chicago tea party. This initiative is funded by the high end. We call it AstroTurf. It's not really a grassroots movement. It's AstroTurf by some of the wealthiest people of America. Here in upstate New York, we're a long way from the dramatic debates being waged in the nation's capital over health care, the environment, and America's jobless. But this country calm is deceptive. It masks the bitter anger of a disaffected band of Tea Party activists who will gather tonight in a country inn owned by Jeff and Brooklyn Campbell. What is this tea party? And who are the guests? More importantly, who is hosting this party and paying the tab? Well, the Center for Sustainable Media has just received an invitation. And we intend to find out. I'm Chase Peterson, and this is Front Man. Well, Chase, I was I was tight on you. You can't stand up. You got to keep the squat. Can't. Legs. Did we get it? No. Shh. Can I just do the tag again, standing up? What are these trees? They're apple trees. Did that look natural? Where are the apples? Well, it's winter time. It's not the season. Oh. So where are these tea baggers anyway? There's something I don't get about this gig. Why do they call it front man? It sounds like you're covering or running cover for somebody. It's a military tradition. The guy on one of those army patrols who leads the group and takes the fire. That's the front man. Uh, Chase? What? I think it's, I think it's point man. Don't think! So really, the election of Barack Obama leaves people like you feeling stranded, right? Isn't that what the Tea Party movement is really about? What do you mean, people like us? Surely you must know someone who's been paid to attend a Tea Party event. Let's see, do I know anybody that was paid to attend a Tea Party event? Um... I think you're confused, Chase. I am? That rent-a-protest stuff? where you get several hundred service employees to punch a clock for a little street rally. That's the other side. It is. We're the side that pays the bills. Taxes aren't a cash crop for us. You know, she's got a point there. All the other side has to do is make an announcement in the break room. Do you mind? <laughs> Who do I take my orders from? Well, who do you report to then? Coming in? No precinct captain? No political action committee? Yeah, actually, I do. Yeah, my brother in law. Ah, is he in the insurance industry? Actually, no. He's a police officer. He was hired by the city. You would not believe the amount of people that attended this. It was just amazing. We're not even that organized. Uh, we just pick out a date, post it on the internet, and we had, we had almost 700 people come to our congressional town hall this summer. Now, are you seriously going to have us believe that no one was being paid to organize that? Direct mailings cost money. Radio ads cost money. Radio ads? Uh, no, Chase, I think he said he used a phone tree or something like that. Cut the tape. Do you mind terribly if I conduct these interviews? Let me 
me just set the record straight, Chase. My dad was a union pipe fitter. My mom waited tables. I'm one of seven brothers and sisters, Catholic, working class. So when you say people like us, I just want to make sure that you... You see, it's this very anger of the Tea Party movement that I want to address for the broader American audience. We just need to know why you're so bitter. We're talking about Congress giving loans to people who couldn't really afford them, so therefore we end up paying for them. We're talking about Congress bailing out the bankers. We're talking about federal employees getting raises when the rest of us are battling to stay alive. This makes you angry? It upsets you? 